That's our sponsor. Well, Connor Baxter, last year you left Hungary with no gold medals, no world titles. This year you're leaving with two, man. What a, what a great week for you. It's crazy how visualization can come to life. And uh, you know, I've been training so hard, like I said before in the sprints, so much time and sacrifice goes into these kind of events. And uh, to come here with one thing on my mind is to win. And uh, you know, just focusing on sprint and technical, going home with two gold medals, baby. Yeah. You took a couple of risks with your line in that final, but obviously you were confident of where you were going and what you were doing. Yeah, you know, the little bit of side wind, I was hoping uh, to kind of get a little bit of breeze or glide with that. Didn't go exactly as planned, kind of gave T2 that little creep up on me. And him and I are both really skilled downwind bump readers. Uh, managed to get on a little bump, and then I did what I did best, and that was the run, so I gave it all I could. So tell us what went through your mind when you went around that last buoy and you looked for the line and you had Titian on inside you. What was going through your mind? Man, that was a race of thoughts, you know, like, dang, I just lost my position, should have just done it a sharper turn or this or that, you know, and going into the race, I told myself, it doesn't matter, don't give up until I cross that finish line. And I uh, put my head down, caught a little bump, saw the shallow water coming on us, boom, jumped off for that early run and uh, managed to get the win. Uh, makes all the sacrifices worthwhile. Oh my gosh, it does. You know, that just fueled the fire and uh, now I'll have a bunch of hungry guys going into next year. So training, preparation, take it up a notch and uh, we'll see what happens. Connor Baxter, two-time world champion. Congratulations, mate. Well done. There he is, folks.